Hi, this is me talking for words. I'm Federico. I hope you receive this message and I hope also I will be able to finish to record it. They are everywhere. They know who you are. They know where you are. It's really scary. I just received this message. They are really tracking me. And the only thing they need are this and this. So let me explain the story. So if you want to do the same at home, in order to track your wife, your kids, or your cat, assuming your cat have a smartphone, of course, what you need? First, you need a Meridian app and access to the Meridian editor like this. Okay. Secondly, you will need an Aruba beacon in proximity mode, for example, like this one. Okay, the kitchen one, you see proximity mode here. Okay, and finally, you will need also a web server. So in my case, I use an, an Apache web server. So I deployed, in fact, a Bitnami template on a Microsoft Azure. This one, exactly here. So this is a virtual machine Ubuntu with Apache installed on it. Okay, so now let's begin the configuration. First of all, if you have no idea of the information you can get during a notification campaign from a beacon, you can use a very cool website which is called Request Bean here. So requestbean.in, and here you can create a web page on which you will post the information. So let me create it here. I copy the URL, and now I can create my campaign in the Meridian editor. So let's do this. I go in the campaign part, I will create a new one, for example, ABC Net Video. Okay. And then I select, instead of send device a message, I select notify a custom endpoint. And here, this is a place where I paste the URL of my request bin web page. Then I select the beacon which will trigger this campaign. So let's select uh, all my beacon, for example, this one, this one, and this one. I verify that the notification is on enter. Okay. And what you can do is you can test it immediately using the test button here. So I select the beacon from which I will send the um, campaign, the notification. This one, for example, toilets. I remove the token because I want to show you this after and I trigger the endpoint. So I will receive a bad answer because there is no answer from request bin, but at least I can see in request bin, if I reload, I can see the request I just sent from this beacon. So important information, broadcaster ID, identify the beacon which sent the notification. Device ID is unique per smartphone or tablet. Campaign ID is also important because it represents the campaign you just created. And there are other things like um, the language, the type of device. You can see uh, here, okay, and so on. So now I can save my campaign. So start over, close. So I can activate first, enable my campaign and save. And so now I can test it in a real notification. So let's do this. So I will use my smartphone. And by the way, if you are authenticated in the app through um, ClearPass, so I made a video on how to do this uh, here, so you can have a look. In this case, you can get one more very interesting information in the post request, which is the token associated to the authenticated user. And so then you can make some uh, API call to ClearPass to get more user details. So for example, here you can see in my account, I am authenticated as Fabian Giro. And so I can get this information in my uh, notification. Another useful tip uh, on the uh, Meridian uh, app uh, on smartphone is that you can debug a campaign so on iPhone, you just need to type five times on the search window here, one, two, three, four, five, and you will enter this debugging screen. And so you can debug campaign like this one. So you will see all your campaign. And for example, I can select the ABC Net video here, 
and I click on reset campaign in order to reset the, um, the time, um, timeout and so I can get notified again. So now let's see if we get something here if we reload the page, so if we get information in request bin. Okay, so I just reload and yeah, here you can see something which is new. You can see this authorization, bearer and a token. And so this is the token you can use in order to query ClearPass to get more details on the user, like username, a company or every information you can get in ClearPass. Okay, so now we have everything, so we can now develop our script. So I will use a Python script, which will be a CGI of my APHE server. And in this Python script, in fact, what I want to do is first to, to push a specific notification for a specific user and for a specific beacon. So I will use both Meridian API and also ClearPass API. And also I give some point in a database each time I go to the toilets or this kind of thing. So let's do this right now. So I won't comment my entire script, but I will only show you the main part of the script. So let me go to my uh, Azure virtual machine. Here it is. And let me open my script, which is called point scriptings. Okay. So first of all, you see some uh, some uh, import of library. So CGI import one to, to make it a CGI script. JSON also request for uh, making some API call. Uh, my SQL connector is for a greeting point in my uh, SQL uh, my SQL database. Okay, and after that, you have some global parameters. So you have my clear pass URL. Okay, my database username and password, the name of the database, and finally you have the Meridian information to access the API. So you have the base URL and my location URL. Okay, and finally, I have the token I can use in order to connect using API to my Meridian. Okay, after that, at the end of the script, uh, you will see the main function here. So first, I get all the fields which are in the post request of my beacon. And after that, I call my uh, my notification message function, which is the main part of my script, in fact. So if I go to this function, which is just upper here, okay, you can see some default value in the function, but moreover, you see something very interesting, because in the uh, posted fields, I have a broadcaster ID field, if you remember well, if you go there, you can see I said this is very important to identify the beacon. Okay, so first I need to get this one. And so I get the field broadcaster ID. And I decompose this field in three different ones. First one, beacon ID, major and minor. So beacon ID, uh, yeah, it says if it is a proximity beacon or a location beacon. And after that, major and minor identify this beacon of this type. And so finally, by combining the three information, I can find the beacon and get information on this beacon. Okay, so I get this. After, after, after that, I also get the device ID, uh, campaign ID, so I can uh, make some decision uh, on this. And something very interesting also, if the user is authenticated, I get this token in order to get more user information in ClearPass. Okay. So, as I said, using beacon ID, major and minor information, I created a function which is called get beacon info in order to get information on this beacon. And it is just upper of this here. So here, using the API of Meridian, okay, so the beacon URE is beacons, and so using a, re a guest request on a this Meridian URI, I can get information based on major, minor, and beacon ID. And so finally, I get this information here, and I return the information in a JSON format. So I return beacon information. If you want to have an idea of the, how it looks like, here is the example. So using a web browser, you can see uh, I have uh, one uh, beacon here. So I have the coordinate, I have the name, 
laundry, okay, the type of beacon, the, and uh, what is important, as I said, is the beacon ID here and major and minor, which are here and here. So this allow me to identify the, the beacon. Okay, so after that, so I do pretty the same kind of thing with uh, um, clear pass token. Okay. So I said if there is a token, so it is in the else, I get using ClearPass um, ClearPass API, I get the information on the user based on the token. So I get username, email, okay, I get the company also somewhere, I think, number of points I have in my database, and so on. And also at the end, I give some points to the user. Okay, I give some points to the user in my database because he uh, visited my uh, toilet or my kitchen or something. And so, since I have everything, I have the username, I have the company of this user, I have uh, the beacon, I have the name of the beacon, all this kind of information. At the end, I can make a string I want to use in order to notify, make, uh, make a custom notification to this user in this place. So I use the username, the company, and the beacon name in my message. So the message is, hi, uh, me, <laughs> from my company. Uh, welcome back in your uh, kitchen or uh, toilet or uh, I don't know anything. We are watching you. And this is the message. And the thing, very, very important, you need to print in order to get this message sent to the device is here. So this is a JSON format. So there is result field to success and the notification with this information, another JSON encapsulated. So title, so this will be the title of the custom notification. And the message is this one. So the message I created here and yeah, I translated in Unicode and so on. So the message, I can also associate a um, link to this message. So when I click on the message, I will go to this specific page in my Meridian app and something which is very, very cool, but uh, very annoying for my wife. Uh, you can put this field also in your cooldown to true. So you will be notify each time you enter a room, uh, uh, a proximity beacon and so on without waiting for the cooldown period. So this make a kind of a broadcast each time I enter the enter my home. And so now we will be able to see the result when we change the URL in the Meridian app. So let me do this. So if I go back to my Meridian app, so instead of this URL here, I will put the URL of my APG web page. Here, okay, I click on save. And so now let's wait for the notification to come up. And yes, here we are, I got my notification. And so you can see my name, Fabien Giro, my company from HP Aruba. Welcome back in your toilet. So you see that I'm recording, recording in my toilet. And I associated a page, so if I click on print, display here, this will redirect me to the toilet definition in Wikipedia. So this was the endpoint custom notification in Meridian. So I just wanted to show you that even without any SDK and um, many big programming uh, knowledge, you can, using the Meridian editor and a few Python or a PHP or whatever you want, script programming, you can make some very interesting custom notification. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, so please, if you did like it, you can also, of course, put some comment. And also, you can subscribe to the ABC networking channel so you can get notified if there is new video. And as a famous philosopher said in the past, I'll be back.